everyone, welcome to Droning America. I'm your host, Angie Avestris. Today, we're in the River City. It's the gateway to the West, and it's a place where beer and baseball go hand in hand. Welcome to St. Louis, Missouri. We don't have to travel far to meet up with our celebrity guest. She's meeting us just across the park. Well, to show us around St. Louis, we're hanging out with Kim Hudson from Fox 2 News 11. <laughs> Kim, thanks so much for showing us around your city. Honestly, I can't believe you guys came here. Welcome, welcome, welcome to Airviews. <laughs> and we are in this beautiful forest park in front of the World's Fair Pavilion. Yes, yes, this is a huge site of a lot of history here in St. Louis. So the World's Fair was here in 1904. The funds from that helped to actually pay for this pavilion. They actually rent this space out, and I mean, it's one of the most breathtaking locales here in the city. My understanding is this park is already bigger than New York's Central Park. I've heard 50% larger than Central Park. It's huge. Honestly, I've lived here my whole life, and I still get, I got lost today, okay? So I, I honestly get lost every time I come here, but I've also seen it change just magnificently. And I've heard the 1904 World's Fair was also the reason the zoo is now here. That's right, that's right. And the zoo, it's absolutely free. And the bottom line is, a lot of zoos in the country just aren't. You mentioned it's free. Another free place in Forest Park is the Muni, which is an amphitheater. Mm-hmm, it is an amphitheater. So the Muni has a row of, it's true they're in the nosebleeds, but still, it, the way the Muni is built, there isn't a bad seat in the house. So you have several rows all across the Muni that are free. Next, we're heading just outside St. Louis to visit what has been referred to as one of the 10 great streets in America. Kim, we've traveled to University City at Del Mar Loop, the entertainment and restaurant district, and now we're hanging out with Chuck Berry. That's right. <laughs> I remember the morning that this statue was dedicated back in 2011. Uh, a lot of people may not know Chuck Berry's still alive, and he's still kicking, and he has performed just across the street at Blueberry Hill. Now, that is a bar on its face but it's got two other rooms inside. One is the Elvis room and one is the duck room. If you end up in the duck room, that's that's when you know you're pulling in some people. And Chuck Berry, definitely a pioneer for rock and roll music, legendary musician. He has the first star here on the St. Louis Walk of Fame. Who are some other notable names on the Walk of Fame? Oh man, uh, there's another one that uh, we just had, Fontella Bass. And the reason why I remember her um, is she had the song called Rescue me. And so many other notable residents here from St. Louis. There's T.S. Eliot, Bob yeah. Costas, Ulysses S. Grant, yeah. Maya Angelou, just to name a few. So There's many people. a lot of history up and down these streets here, just up and down Del Mar, the Del Mar Loop. You'll know you're in the Del Mar Loop when you see those stars. Now we're off to downtown St. Louis to see the tallest man made monument in the U.S. 630 feet of stainless steel that commemorates Thomas Jefferson's westward expansion. Kim, we've made it to the famous Gateway Arch. That's right, right here on the banks of the Mississippi River. And people actually ride a little elevator up into the observation deck. Yes, it's called a tram. And so it does take a few minutes in order to get up each leg of the arch. But if you see those little tiny windows right up there, you can actually see all of St. Louis on one side. You can actually see it to East St. Louis, which is Illinois on the other side of the Mississippi River. It's really awesome. And it's called the Gateway to the West because of its significance with Lewis and Clark. That's right. And actually, the designer way back in 1933. He felt that this area needed something that really marked this being the gateway to the West, the place that Lewis and Clark came to start expanding America's reach into the western part of what is now known as the United States. Now a few blocks away from here is home of Anheuser-Busch, the kind of one of America's favorite beers. Absolutely. Does everyone here drink Budweiser? Just <laughs> about, okay? I'm telling you, just about some Budweiser product. Uh, back in 1852 is when it got started. It's been going the whole time. And Anheuser-Busch is the reason Busch Stadium, where your Cardinals play, mm -hmm. got their name. A lot of Cards fans here, some of the best fans in the world. That's right, <laughs> and it's technically considered Bush 3. And recently we just opened Ballpark Village, so you can go over to uh, Ballpark Village, even if you don't have a ticket to the game, you can watch the game, have a drink, you could even maybe go up into one of the restaurants, just get just the right seat. You can watch the game all the way from Ballpark Village, it's awesome. That's a local tip right there. Yeah. <laughs> uh, another place downtown, City Garden, I've heard a lot about it, especially on a hot day like this. I'm sure the kids like to go play in some of those water fountains. Yeah, I mean, we don't really have a place for a pool down here in downtown St. Louis, but they have lots and lots of really cool fountains. 
Kids and families, they just suit up in their swimsuits, go down there, they run through the fountains, and they can do it all the way up until 10 o'clock at night. Across the street is the historic courthouse. That's right, the historic old courthouse. That was where uh, Dred Scott sued for his freedom for him and his wife. He was a slave, and uh, it, this case went all the way to the Supreme Court. Unfortunately, he lost, but it really paved the way for equal rights for African Americans in this country. Gosh, gonna have to check that out, Kim. You have been so much fun to hang out with. Thank you so much for showing us around your city. So much history here, it's been a lot of fun. Well, welcome to St. Louis. Hope you guys come back really soon. Finally, we're going southwest of the city to check out Lawmeyer Sculpture Park, an open air museum scattered with contemporary art such as Alexander Lieberman's The Way. That's a wrap for us here in St. Louis. Hope you've enjoyed the city as much as we have. If you think we should stop in your city next, make sure to tweet at us at Droning America and let us know why. Till next time, bye everyone.